No matter where I am, I always have Detroit dust and dirt on the bottom of my feet, no matter where I stand. Nobody else walks like Kenny Dixon. He's got his own fly way of waltzing through life that's different than everybody else. That's his magic. Kenny don't feel sorry for y'all. The other DJs, they might try something, and when they see the crowd not have any knowledge of something off of 4-4, four they backspin out of it. Kenny ain't gonna do that. He likes to educate people about black culture. He's a teacher more so than a DJ. But I don't go up there with no plan set. Unfortunately, I'm like your parent. I'm gonna give you what you need. So let's talk about your, your first party that you remember DJing at. My grandfather owned a nightclub. I had the job of DJing and cleaning up at nine years old. This is my grandfather. This is the guy who showed me how to get down and my appreciation for the whole jazz world and scene, even my acknowledgement came from this guy. Hmm. Hope y'all having a good time. I got into a little trouble and I had to work. I had to get a job. One of my best friends was like, man, come on, work at Byright. Right. Kenny probably got a lot of record knowledge just hanging out when the older DJs come in and what they select and the DJs talk to each other, man, what works, what don't. You either work at Byright, Right, you either had your music distributed at Byright, Right, you either produce records at Byright, Right, or you bought records from Byright. Right. Kenny played the music. And the shit was tight, man. It was really good. Only thing was he had so much of it, but you need your own record label. And that's where Mahogany Music came in. This is where Archer Records, Home Base is. All the original Motown stuff was pressed here. They've been taking care of us local Detroiters for a long time. And this is where all my shit's been pressed uh, since day one. Japan was a whole different situation. Japan are educated. It's like they have a class on black music out there. They tell me about my own shit. But around the world, it's, it's, it's beautiful enough that even people acknowledge me to even bring me back, which is amazing. But you've got this thing at the moment with New Era, right? So these hats that you're doing right Hell now. And so, yeah. so they look good. They're, they're, very, they're very you. That's your look. It was a blessing. They, you know, they called like, "Hey, uh, we we're interested." We thought it was a joke at first, but it was it was the real deal. And uh, next thing I know, I was up in the London office, you know, helping design some stuff that was new era, like a motherfucker. My only demand was that we use the Detroit trademark English D. I just wanted to support my city. Detroit's always been a place that people from there honored and took it to heart. You know, wherever they lived at in the world, they had that Detroit dust always on the bottom of their shoes. We wear that badge of honor very proudly. It's, it's really one of the few things we have. It made me who I am today. 